Well, I'm outside Spa today. Monday, 23rd, I think, something like that, of July. And uh, the council put these nice black ballards in. And uh, yeah, nice. But why would they make them wide enough to put a car in between? Yet again, and yet, I already see one fault already. Why is there no ballard here? I mean, I already saw him pulling in on here, and the whole point of the whole thing is to uh, stop the cars pulling on the pavement. But what they've done now is made it worse by not putting one here where they should be. So they're coming in and just parking in there. So all them stones are going to have more weight put on them. So it's going to cause not more that, problems. Not going to walk all the way. But also, why wouldn't they have made it narrower to only put one car to go through? Because the cars still park here, as you can see here. They still drop off here and then block the other way coming around, see? And some just leave the cars there and uh, just go into the spa. So, as you can see, hasn't really made a difference. So, another bit of wasted money building these black bollards. So, yeah, so where's the other one? You know, you need to put one here before they start rattling all the pavement up. So, anyway, I just thought I'd point that out. Another waste of time, I, in my opinion. So, wait and see. See if any changes and all the stones come up. Pavement slab, should I say? We'll see what happens. Anyway, catch you on the next bit. Bye bye for now. Right, I'm just outside the HSBC bank in New Zealand. And I can't believe it, after that bin had uh, got set on fire, they've actually put a new bin in, look. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, good idea, but that already. The trouble is you've got to empty them or what's the point in having them because then the overflow of the seagulls come out and blimmin' uh, chuck it all around. So yeah, they're slightly smaller to do with a big wider bin for this town. So yeah, good point, put a new one back in outside the HSBC. Anyway, just thought I'd mention that while I'm here. Catch you on the next bit. Right, I'm outside them. Um, St Mary's, Robert Owen is a burial place and uh, there's been some developments here since the last time I was here. They've got 24 hour CCTV now. So yeah, so I thought, well, let's go and have a look. Is it just a sign or is there actually CCTV here? And uh, let's have a look. Because they've been breaking in here. They kicked it all down, down like of a little crypt thing and uh setting fire to it and everything else there's the uh robert o memorial and i thought we'll come and have a look and see where the cameras are see if they are actually here. i can't see anything not on this side anyway i've looked all over there nothing i can see so let's go and have a look through here oh banging me in oh wow there's no door on it I've always wondered what was in here. Look at this. Oh wow, now. Well, there's nothing in here in the first place. It's just a an empty box. There's a little shelf. So I don't know, what was the purpose? Was there a grave here? Anybody tell me? Can't read what's on that, so there's a black bit of graffiti. Yeah. Wow. Well, there they are, there's a full view. But what's inside it? I've always wondered. Been here for years, but you never get to see. Anyway. There they are. So there's no door in it anymore. So you look quite nice with the door on the outside. So they're just taking it away. Right. So there are, looks good. Right, let's have a look where the cameras are. So they're taking the door off, which if they'd done that at the beginning, Maybe we never got kicked in. Ah, there they are. There's one up there, see? In the corner, in black cage. Well, it's facing over there. More like looking at the Buckingham Road than looking down here. This has got a wide angle lens. And uh, anywhere else. Ah, there's another one there. Black cage. Ah, oh, so they've got two on here. Oh, again, it's 
piecing downwards yeah look at that you got a camera but uh, it's facing just there well if anybody's messing around over there is it really gonna see anything oh well you got two cameras so what more damage can they do because they've already taken the door off so me another pointless exercise unless they're gonna put the door back on I don't know and also I can see up there the sensor light is broken because it's lying down so it's not gonna be well lit up at night got a couple over there but they're just facing down so I doubt they're gonna light up the whole area because there's no other floodlight anyway so yeah very weird so that looks like the only two places they got the cameras nothing on the way in unless it's a hidden one I don't know but uh, yeah so that's St Mary's bit of security I don't know is it just there for looks or is it real anyway just thought I'd show that see what happens if they do make a mess down here again catch you on the next bit bye for now out of there and I bet you wonder what's behind the Elephanton Castle not a lot of people know in Newtown what's behind here well this is what's behind here all the bins for the hotel car park looks like somebody's house we've all lived in over there the bulky rooms over there all nicely hidden out the way this isn't it so it's another new part of the uh, the hotel unless we do function rooms in that one yeah Oh, we're behind the florist on the main street as well because there's their van it looks like a little bungalow across there yeah so it's a lot different to what i remember it years ago looks a bit tidy there so yeah that's called the elephant castle hotel car park and bothy rooms don't know what a bothy room is and there's the back of the shops where the florist is and hairdressers and yeah, not something to see every day, is it? So there's the back end of the Elephant of the Castle. There's the Elephant Castle Hotel and main reception. Oh, so the main reception is there now. I've got to go in. Not that busy. Smoking point. Somewhere to sit and drink. Broad Street Bar. So yeah. So you can come through this side and go right the way round while I give it. It's where the Robert Owen is. So it says no right of way, patrons only. And there you go, five mile an hour. Late night tendencies on the doors. And that's up towards the bridge. And it's supposed to be any time now, I'm gonna be painting the bridge. Four hundred thousand pound. So we can see. It's a bit of a spiral staircase. So yeah. So that's the back end of Elephant Castle. Let's just do a front view of that. There you go. It's been all the way around the back of there. There we go. Got some nice flowers out this year. Looking good. So yeah, so that's it. Just thought I'd show you that. I hope you liked it. Catch you on the next bit. Now I'm coming up by Lidl's New Town Paris and uh, can't believe it. After all these years, they've actually stuck a decent bin across the road. For years, the bin was an old crappy green thing and they've actually put a big one in its place across there. And uh, I'm going to zoom in. One of the little recycling ones. So yeah, it's all broken. All the papers used to come out of it. And uh, they've finally put a nice one in there. Bit of progress.
It's a shame they can't do it with the rest of the bins in the town and have a few more. Anyway, on that note, um, and I'll walk down a bit further and I'll come back and talk about something else we've done this week. So, back in a jiffy. Right, I'm coming on down to Park Street in Newtown, coming from Little Side. I'll come down here, and you're not going to believe what I've seen this week. You can't get the council to do a pothole, but all around the town where it says 30 mile an hour, or 20 mile an hour on the road, they've used a machine to scrape it all, and then re tarmac it in the same day. And you try to get them to do a pothole anyway, and they won't do it, but yet they can come in. Yeah, take all these speed wrap, speed uh, signs down off the roads. They shouldn't be there because we're going into 20 miles an hour. But they've gone all the way down to the bottom there, done them up there, all up on Trioin, and up by the high school, all over the place. But they could find the money to do that when they could have used some other work, some form of method, like, I don't know, like you put the red stuff over the top and gritty down over the top of them but no they decided to um, do that all over the place now how many potholes would that have filled so just thought I'd highlight it our councils have got their money and uh, yeah I just don't get it they got the money to find to do that but they can't do it either. like I said the red stuff they do when they put a school sign down why didn't they do something like that it's in front of me so, must have cost a fortune, taken over a week to do, manpower, they can't even fill a pothole. Anyway, just like, like that, look out for when we start going 20 miles an hour everywhere from September, October. Catch you on the next bit, bye right for now, engine again. Alright, I'm outside Newtown Railway Station, and there's been some developments. And, uh, so I'd have a little wander up, see what's uh, anything's new. Well, besides the track, a bit of decoration will look good with these bars, but looking a bit well worn. But uh, yeah, news this week, July 23rd. I'm doing this from, and uh, we're having a new walkway. So you see this walkway, long steps, and they are quite steep going across and uh, yeah they're putting a lift on either end to uh, to uh, make it easy for disabled people to get from one side to the other so yeah so that's a bit of good news because it is a pain walking from one side to the other and you have to go over that little tiny bridge and uh, over the other side here this other road bridge to get over the other side and it's quite steep to get across the wheelchairs as well but yeah so that's some good news so yeah it'll be transformed in a few months time i think it's september they're going to be doing it so while i'm here i'll just do a little video of the of the bridge because you know it's like it gets to happen so quick you forget about it and then before you know it they've done it so that's what the bridge looks like at the moment so yeah it'd be nice to see so that's another bit of good news so i'll try and put the plans up on the screen so you can see what it's going to look like so yeah just thought i'd give that up and uh tell you about that is there a drain coming now no no train today anyway that's it so uh wait and see the grotty old bridge will be gone so that's it anyway that's it on to the next part catch you on the next bit bye for now